welcome back to Botch Aviation. Today we're doing the airport update of Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport. This will be for May 2023. This will show the routes on the airplanes we saw on May in May 2023 of this month. Um, there's so many new models added to the collection. I'm so happy to show them here in Atlanta. The airport is not a uh, accurate scale, but I'm having the airport, the airplanes will be an accurate scale to, of course, this airport update. So happy to get into this airport update. And without further ado, let's get into this uh, update after the intro. Let's go. First aircraft here for the update, and it's a, quite a beautiful one, is the Air Canada Express CRJ900, and of course the uh, current color scheme. This Air Canada CRJ900 just came in from Montreal, Canada, of course. This is such a beautiful aircraft again to see here at Atlanta, and just a perfect start to start this airport update. Here we have uh, this Delta Airlines A330-200. This aircraft just came in from Frankfurt. Very cool that the Delta's flying the A330-200 to Frankfurt before they were flying the 767-400. Surprisingly, it was very hard to find A330-200 routes here at Atlanta. I gotta say, it looks like here for the month of May, they've kind of decreased their routes with the A330-200, but still a beautiful plane and a new addition here uh, in my collection. This American Airlines 737-800 in the Astrojet livery is taxiing out to the runway and we're going out for a flight to Dallas-Fort Worth. Such a beautiful aircraft to see here at the airport update. Saw this aircraft actually a week ago in Chicago and he's such a beautiful aircraft and so happy to add him to the update of course. Again, this airplane is going to go out to Dallas-Fort Worth. This Delta 767-300 this aircraft is gonna be taxiing out for his out, fly out to Stuttgart, Germany. Interesting route that the uh, uh, Delta is flying to Stuttgart, Germany. Never actually heard of it before, but I saw that they're flying here and I wanna add it in here for, of course, um, some variety in this update. And he's about to get taxied out for his flight out. And he was waiting for the American Airlines to finally pass him so he can be taxi out for his flight. Next aircraft here is this beautiful Delta Airlines A330-200 that just came in from Rome. Such a beautiful aircraft to see uh, the A330-300 fly to Rome. Rome usually gets a Neo service, but recently they're flying the 300 variant. So very cool to see the this aircraft here at ATL. Here's an interesting aircraft. This is the BA, oh, sorry, British Airways 777-200ER that is, is gonna go out to London Heathrow. So really interesting that they're flying the 200 variant because usually they would operate the 300 variant or even the A350-1000. So really interesting to see that British Airways is operating the 777-200, but I'm not complaining. It's a beautiful aircraft, of course, see here at Atlanta. Here I have a newest, one of my favorite newest additions to the collection is the Delta Airlines A319. This aircraft is taxiing out for its flight out to Memphis, Tennessee. So cool to see the A319 here. And I just love the Delta A319. It looks so beautiful and just so happy to add to the collection, of course. Here we have an interesting plane. This is the Qatar Airways 777-200ER. This aircraft just came in from Doha. Really interesting that they're flying the 200. Usually Qatar Airways flies the 777-300, but there was a short period of time in Atlanta where they were actually operating 777-200s. And of course, I have a 777-200 in the collection. So it's so awesome to finally use a Qatar Airways model in one of my Atlanta Harsel Jackson updates. This is an aircraft I am so happy came back to ATL. It is the Korean Air 747-8i. I cannot believe this came back to Atlanta. Korean Air is flying this aircraft uh, from Seoul, South Korea, of course, and it's so awesome to finally get the 747 back here at ATL. This aircraft just came in for a flight from Seoul, and we're also be going out for a flight out to Seoul again. Here I have an interesting model. This is the KLM 777-300ER. Really interesting that KLM is operating the 777-300ER. This aircraft is taxiing out for his flight out of Amsterdam. Before they brought the 777-300, we would usually see here at ATL the 787-10. 
but this 777-300 is a really good, nice addition applying here to, of course, ATL. Sadly, the 77 is more comfortable, but really, I'd rather see a 777 here in Atlanta instead of, of course, the 787-10. Here we have a beautiful aircraft that just came in from London Heathrow. It is this Virgin Atlantic E350-1000. Seen this aircraft so many times in Atlanta, I finally can represent him here in the airport updates. Right now, Virgin Atlantic is actually flying the 830 900neo, so that's a really cool aircraft. But I don't have the 900neo, but I'll add this beautiful 8350-1000 since we are seeing this aircraft fly from uh, London Heathrow. Here at the gate, we have this beautiful Delta Airlines 8350-900. He's gonna put the last of his cargo and you're going out for his flight out to Tokyo. Such a beautiful aircraft again to see here at Atlanta Hartsfield. Over there, there's another Delta Airlines 8350-900. This aircraft is just came in from his flight from Tel Aviv, Israel. Very interesting that uh, Delta is flying non-stop flights to Tel Aviv and it's actually pretty recent flight. So it's really cool to see that Delta is flying their 8350-900s to Israel and it's super cool to have a straight shot to Israel and pretty much uh, connect if you can get through is Israel you can get through many more other destinations so really cool again to see Delta flying to Tel Aviv now such a beautiful aircraft and over there we have a third A350-900 this aircraft is going to get loaded in and he'll be going out for a flight out to Dublin really interesting that they're flying the A350-900s to Dublin I believe before they were flying the 767 400 or even the 300 to Dublin. So it's really cool to see that they're flying the 900 now to uh, Dublin. Such a beautiful aircraft again to see here at ATL. Here we have this beautiful Delta Airlines 737 900 that be taxing out for his flight out to uh, Sacramento. This is in the Seattle one livery. Interesting to see the 737 taxiing out for his flight out to um, Sacramento really love this the 737 900 and we've been seeing some a lot of 737 900 action here at ATL very beautiful aircraft and again he'll be going out for a flight to Sacramento here is a beautiful aircraft he's taxiing out for a flight out to Amsterdam this is the beautiful Delta Airlines A330 900 Neil and of course the Team USA livery so beautiful again to see this aircraft here at ATL we've been seeing uh, more and more uh Neo service here at, of course, Atlanta, and just so happy again to see the, uh, the more Neo flying into Atlanta. Such a beautiful aircraft. This aircraft here is the Delta Airlines 757-300. This aircraft just came in from San Diego. Really interesting that Delta's flying their 77-300s to San Diego now, and just such a beautiful aircraft. Of course, this aircraft, as you can see, does not have winglets, and sadly, this is a retired aircraft. But I want to add um, more depth into the depth, depth into the video, and I decided to add this aircraft in again. Still a very cool route, of course, by Delta Airlines. Here we have this Delta Airlines 767 400, and of course this breast in the breast cancer awareness livery. As you can see, this aircraft is in kind of like a pink color scheme. This aircraft uh, is be going out for a flight out to Orlando. Very interesting that Delta is flying their 767-400 just to Orlando. Hope in the future actually to fly this route. Because still, it's incredible to have a 767-400 fly a pretty much a one hour flight. So such a cool round to see here at Atlanta. Here we have is this Delta Airlines A321 that just came in from Denver and we're going out for a flight out to Dallas, Fort Worth. Such an interesting route to see here at Atlanta. What do you mean not interesting route? Such a beautiful aircraft to see here at Atlanta. The A321 has been explosive here at Atlanta. We've been seeing so much A321 service and really just need to get some more A321s because we've been seeing a, a lot of service here at ATL, but still a beautiful aircraft to see here at ATL nevertheless. Here we have the beautiful Delta Airlines 757-200. Such a beautiful aircraft. You'll be getting in some, excuse me, some uh, meals loaded on. And we're going out for a flight to ORD. Interesting um, information about this aircraft. This aircraft was delayed uh, four hours. So I want to add this in. This aircraft was delayed four hours. Imagine that, four hours. 
Berserk Rock was delayed because they did not have any uh, pilots on board. Recently, I had a family member fly uh, the 77200 to ORD and they suffered this incident. So, really want to add this in just to add some more, um, how to say, variety and make this airport update more interesting, of course. Here are the beautiful Delta Airlines A321 in the thank delivery. This aircraft we're going out for is fly out to Tampa. I love the thank you livery, but we don't usually see this the thank you livery here at Atlanta. Rarely comes to Atlanta. I'm pretty surprised, but what do you can do? But really hope one day to fly in this aircraft because or even spot him because he's such a beautiful aircraft and really symbolizes um, the work culture here at of course Delta Airlines. And let's go to jump to the other aircraft there. That is a 737 uh, 900 and it's of course the split scimitars. Um, this aircraft we're going out for is flight to Panama City and of course Florida, not the Panama City, Panama. It's interesting because this aircraft, I recently purchased this model and when I looked at the registration, I wondered if I actually saw this and actually back in 2020, I actually saw the exact this exact plane in real life and took a picture of him. So that's really cool that I actually saw this aircraft in real life. Here we have the beautiful Delta Airlines 757 200, greatest sea always a 757. This aircraft just came in from its flight from Fort Lauderdale. I actually flew the 757 uh, from Fort Lauderdale, so I decided to add this um, plane in because of course it's special to me, this route is slash plane, of course. First time on the 757, this route, so so happy to add to this update. Here we have this Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 in the West Coast Wonders Library. This aircraft will be uh, taxiing out for its flight out to Seattle. So beautiful to see the 737 MAX 9 fly here and of course ATL. We usually see 900 but sometimes we occasionally see the, of course, the MAX 9. Such a beautiful aircraft to see here at of course ATL. Here we have this Delta Airlines 757-200 that just came in from its flight from Pensacola. Such a beautiful aircraft to see here again and just love the 757 action here we see at ATL of course. Here we have this American Airlines E319. This aircraft uh, just came in from ORD and also be going out to ORD. Interesting to see the A319 service here at of course uh, ATL. We get actually a lot of uh, American Airlines A319s. We also see service from I believe, yes, we got service from Philadelphia and also, um, remember it's, in, it's, it's in, what do you call it, there are other hubs. So we've been seeing a lot of, a lot of A319 action here at, of course, Atlanta. Here, just taxiing into this gate is this Delta Airlines 717-200. So it's a beautiful aircraft to see here at, of course, Atlanta. 717 action is extremely large here at Atlanta. And it's just insane to see how many 717s we, of course, here at have Atlanta. Of course, uh, as you heard, as recently heard, um, excuse me, Qantas is re retiring their 717 family aircraft, and Delta and Hawaiian Airlines will be the last operators. So it, get get in a rush, fly the 717 because they're going to be gone in a couple of years, and I one day I will hope to fly the 717 again to fly on them. Um, on the true beasts of an aircraft is the 717. This aircraft just came in from a flight and we will be taxiing up to his gate to Baton Rouge, from Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. This Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Lone Star One livery just came in from Indianapolis and we also going out to Indianapolis again. There's a cool aircraft again to see here at Atlanta and I just love the 737-700 and we've been actually seeing the Texas One Sorry, the Lone Star One livery, 737-700. Actually, I've seen that a lot here at Atlanta, so that's a really good sign to see more uh, special liveries here at Atlanta. And over there is the Missouri One, 737-700, that would be going out first flight out to Denver. Very interesting to see, again see the 737-700. I've actually seen this aircraft a couple of times again here at Atlanta. So these two air, um, liveries I've been seeing actually um, a lot here at course. ATL, very cool to see again these two airplanes fly here into ATL. Here we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 in of course the uh, current colors without the scimitars. 
This 737-700 just came in from his flight from Chicago Midway. Such a beautiful aircraft again to see here at ETL. Over there, we have the beautiful C uh, Delta Airlines CRJ-900. This aircraft just waiting for a pushback tug to come, and it will be going out for a flight to Bloomington. So it's a beautiful aircraft to see CRJ-900 offering so much here at Atlanta. Recently, I gotta say, CRJ-900 action here at Atlanta kind of uh, died down and uh die down a bit so that's really interesting but again still so beautiful to see the crj 900 operate here into atl over there you see that beautiful southwest Airlines 737 800 and of course the freedom one livery this is such a beautiful aircraft again to see freedom one here in the atl of course i've uh personally never seen freedom one and doesn't regular no i've never seen flying to atlanta personally but this aircraft will be going out to Oakland. Very cool to see this work here, of course, out to Oakland. That's Southwest Airlines 737-800, and of course the Tennessee One State livery will be going out for its flight out to LAX. Such a beautiful aircraft again to see here at ATL. Here we have the beautiful JetBlue ERJ-190, such a beautiful, in this special, um, x-ray airplane i don't know what it's called but i'll just call it the x-ray livery i actually saw this aircraft in atlanta a week ago and it's such a treat to get the model for this and to represent it this aircraft is taxing out for its flight out to boston again to see this aircraft flying to atlanta put an airport update it's just such a treat and so happy again to add this into the update this southwest airline 737 max 8 is getting taxied out for its flight out to little raw that was a beautiful route again to see here at atlanta and really interesting to see southwest fly to little raw very cool route again here to see at ATL. Here we have another Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8. This aircraft just came in from its flight form Orlando. Such a beautiful route, such a beautiful plane to see here at ATL. And we've been seeing a lot of 737 MAX 8 with Southwest Airlines flying here in Atlanta. So really cool, to, again, to have, represent this today here at ATL. Here we have this beautiful Delta Airlines 767-300. This aircraft uh, will be going out for flight out to Miami, which is really interesting to see Delta flying 767-300 to Miami. Usually they would operate the A321, but to see a 767, that is almost unheard of. So really cool, again, to see this aircraft here at ATL. Here we have this beautiful United Airlines A319. As you can see, he is in a horsey continental glow color. Such an interesting C A319 action here. Uh, one time I actually saw three A319s uh, uh, parked at the gates. So actually A319 action here at ATL is actually very large. This aircraft will be going out for a flight to Washington, Dallas. Interesting route again here to see United Airlines A319 here at Atlanta. Over here, just taxied in, is this beautiful Star Wars livery, United 737-800. Really interesting to see this aircraft here at ATL. Sadly, of course, this, I believe this airplane was repainted back into the um, and back into the United livery, sadly. But we'll represent him today, and he say that he came in from Houston, Texas. Beautiful aircraft again to see here at ATL. Final airplane here at the gates uh, part of this update is the United Airlines ERJ-175 that just came in from Newark, New Jersey. This is interesting that they're flying the ERJ here at uh, from Newark. Usually they would operate 737 Maxes, 737 800s, 700s, A319, A320s. So really interesting to see that United is operating the ERJ from Newark. Very cool route again to see here at ATL. Well, this ends up the this update of Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport update May 2023 and thank you for watching uh, this far in the video it was kind of a, a longer video but you can see that it is jam-packed of course with a bunch of models and routes and airplanes and I'm so happy that uh, you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed this video go check out my other stuff and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time